What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna finish up taking apart the KTM 450. We got pretty far last time and it was just getting late so I called it a night and left it where it is. We got a ton of parts over here and so I'm gonna finish up taking this thing apart like I said and then we're gonna organize everything, get everything uh, sorted out in its own group for what's going to Cerakote, what's going to powder coat. And then I also have a ton of parts over there that I'm gonna unbox for you guys show you what's going on. Uh, I'm actually really excited. Some of these parts are really, really trick. Plus a few more that aren't sitting over there. But without rambling on for too long, like I usually do in my intros, I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing up on the tripod and we will uh, get some shots of taking this thing apart as we strip it down to the bare frame. All right guys, there she is, full KTM 450. I tried to organize everything a little bit. I mean, not too much organization going on yet, but um, I still need to disassemble the linkage from the swing arm and take off the rubber pieces for the chain guide and all that, but I'm gonna do that later off camera. And then the frame, I, I pretty much got it all stripped down. Everything came out super easy. I still need to take out some of the plastic clips, the radiator hoses, and the foot pegs. And again, I'm just gonna do that off camera because it's not really that cool to watch. But um, anyway, so I thought, since I didn't really have that much work to do today in today's video, and it's also, it's Thursday. I'm gonna upload this on Thursday, but I'm filming, editing, and then uploading all on the same day because I've been waiting on a couple parts to come that I wanted to include and show in this video, but some of them didn't show up. I have a big box of parts coming from Moto Stuff. They helped a lot with the 252 stroke build. A bunch of tie parts, really trick stuff, but I'll show you guys that as soon as it arrives, so uh, we'll save that for another video, but for today, show you all the parts that have accumulated over the past couple weeks. Got some carbon goods over here, just some carbon frame guards and uh, discard, can't really tell it's carbon on camera, but uh, yeah, there we go, now you can tell it's carbon. <laughs> but the stock ones are plastic, which are still cool, but carbon's just a little bit uh, more of a bling factor, and then it also has this little extension that guards uh, a few more parts and a little bit more of the frame. Um, and then the boys over at Nihilo hooked me up, they sent me a carbon, uh, carbon skid plate, this thing's really clean, just with a little bit of their branding over here. As well as their clutch and ignition covers, and they uh, were cool enough to let me send over some of my branding and put it on there, and a uh, huge shout out to these guys because they hooked it up big time, so thank you guys over at Nihilo. And then the clutch and brake reservoir caps, I'm not sure which one's which yet, but we'll check that out when, it, uh, when everything's all built up. I didn't even know that Yoshimira made an exhaust for KTMs and Huskies, but when they released this stuff, I was super excited because I, these guys have been really cool to me over the years, supported me for, 
I don't even know, six or seven years now. So I'm really happy to continue my relationship with these guys. They sent me a full tie system. So really excited about that. Like I did on the 110 over here, which is dirty. That's a little hint at the video that's coming out on Saturday. I, I went ahead and polished this header and it came out really cool. This is just stainless. But I think what I'm gonna do is polish this up and then I know like Brett Q and all those guys, they make their headers look really cool by heating them up. So I'm gonna hit him up and see what's the deal with that and probably polish it and heat it. It'll really pop with all the neutral colors going on the rest of the bike. And then we move over here to what I'm really, really excited about. We got some extra clamps. I'm really a huge fan of these things. These are a very well built piece of uh, machinery right here. Like I was blown away when I put these things on the two stroke and I'm really happy to run these again because they are made to work with my KYB suspension. I'm very happy to continue my relationship with KYB. Been on them for years as well, just like Yoshimura, but obviously it's kind of odd to run K anything other than WP on uh, KTM. And these, these actually worked a lot better than I thought they would. And the boys over at Technical Touch were the ones that helped me out with this. They make a conversion kit to make this work on the KTM and Husky. Now they actually sell a conversion kit to make these fully spring, which I considered doing and just getting these colored, um, probably would have done the similar color to what the KYB setup is now, but I don't know. I just wanted the full race bike setup and these guys were cool enough to help me out. Get me dialed in with a brand new set of A kit suspension. So this full spring fork. This is actually identical to some of the pieces that I was racing with a couple years ago on the factory Honda team. I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know the full technical side of it, but I'm pretty sure it's a Honda fork and then X-Trig actually makes a lug to convert over to the same, you know, dimensions and geometry to convert it over to being a KTM versus a Honda. Again, X-Trig, I don't like their machine or whatever they cut their aluminum out of is absolutely insane. Like the, the quality fit and finish of this stuff is like so next level. So really excited to have this in my possession. I haven't put it on yet because I've been waiting for the build. This was just kind of a generic set that they had. It doesn't have my settings in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these to the guys over at KYB and they're gonna revalve them for me and get them set up with the, uh, with the settings that I like. And then the shock is really trick. So this is actually, again, I'm not super sure with all the technical terms and specs and all that, but from what I know, this is actually a shock from the last model of the Hondas. So I think this is like a 16 factory shock. And then again, x makes parts to convert it. So they did, th this is kind of just cool to have to set sag, but then this bottom clevis is converted to KTM linkage specs. So right length, right separation and all that just to make it work on a KTM. Cause I guess this shock I lit up top mounts right up to a KTM. So really, really excited to run this on the new setup. This is like definitely add some baller factor to the bike. Like. I feel like suspension is the one thing that you should definitely not skip out on. So, so I can't express how happy I am to be running the KYB stuff on the new KTM. And I mentioned in the beginning when I first got this bike that I kind of wanted to introduce some parts that you might not know about. Cause I didn't know you could do this. I thought WP was the only suspension option out there for KTMs and Huskies. So it's cool to see you guys like technical touch making, you know, a transition to KYB or if you need to just convert your stuff over to spring, then they can do that too. But so yeah, KYB and Yoshimura, those are the two brands that I love running and the two brands that I didn't know that I could still use on the KTM application. So very excited about that. Hopefully you guys enjoy some of the information that I'm feeding to you guys about this kind of stuff. And uh, if you guys are looking to do a build on the KTM, you can source some of these parts or you can just go to technical touch and get your stuff converted to uh, to spring. And then the last piece that I just recently picked up were a custom set of wheels. You know, the guys over at W are always helping me out with my builds. So a huge shout out to those guys. We went ahead and went with a bronze hub to kind of match the forks and the shock setup. So bronze hub, black spokes, black nipples and uh, black rim. That's kind of my go-to setup. It's uh, actually identical to the set that I got for the 252 stroke. And I just love the way it looks with the bronze and the bronze and I don't know, just like the black really makes the bronze pop a little harder. So yeah, very excited to get some Dunlop tires mounted on these things and uh, start building this thing. I can't wait to get all everything back from coating. And there's obviously gonna be a little bit of a gap uh, in the videos with the build. So I'll try and continue on with the other content. As soon as I start getting parts back from coating and all that kind of stuff and get it all colored, I will definitely update you guys and I'll update you guys when I get that box from Moto stuff too. So like always, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully all this was informative and uh, you guys can kind of check out some of the ways that I'm going to do this build and uh, maybe it'll inspire you guys to take a similar route to what I'm doing. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you don't already subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.
was a sight for my soul. I 